So I'm having a little bit of an issue here with my MakerBot. You can see um, that this belt here is a little loose uh, compared to the look here on this one. On this belt, it's nice and smooth. And hopefully you'll see here in a minute when this kicks on that the other problem I'm facing is that my extruder is printing off to the side here actually, not even on the, on the board. And so uh, I need to do some troubleshooting here to solve this problem. One thing that I've done is used um, some of this uh, PTFE lubricant and I've cleaned up this rod here because it was squeaking pretty bad and I've also added some over here on this gear um, right up here and so um, we'll show you here just a minute of what this looks like in terms of the problem and then hopefully we can uh, come up with a solution to make it better all right so get ready to go and you can see here that there's going to be a problem see how that belt is loose you see it bulging up there all right and uh, probably needs to be leveled as well so we gotta wait for this to heat up so once it's heated up I'll, I'll show you what happens here all right so we're just about to heat up to 230 so it should kick in here in just a second And just to give you a sense of what I'm dealing with here, in case you have a similar problem. So you can see how it's getting caught. It's not even moving. I mean, it's just running. And you can see that it's just dripping off to the side. So we've got a problem with the belt. It's just not taken at all. All right, so let me go ahead and cancel this print. And you can see my belt's just not moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. Uh, I don't wanna waste that filament. But when you're at school and you've got two printers and 115 prints for exhibition, this becomes a pretty serious problem. But I will tell you with that though, um, this is the first glitch I've had. And you can see on my, on my thing here, I've been uh, 215 hours of print and this is the first problem that I've had. So this is not, I've been pretty impressed with this machine. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure out uh, the problem of why this belt isn't moving. And I think it's just because it's too loose. All right, so I moved my printer off to the side here and I don't know if you can see very well, but I think the glitch is right here on this gear and pulley system. This band is so loose that it's just spinning and it's not allowing it to move. So I need to get this tightened up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, loosen up these four, pull this back, and uh, tighten it up. So let's go ahead and get the tools and uh, get, get started here. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, you're going to need a hex wrench here. And if I'm facing the front of my maker bot, I had to move it over to get myself some space. We're talking on the back, on the right side here. So just coming around to give you perspective. And this is where the gantry is and there are four screws here and I know it's kind of hard to see but there's one two three and then one over here you're gonna to want to loosen these um, you're not removing them so do not remove but we got to loosen them up I'm not quite sure how to get to this one here we go All right, we're gonna move this here to the middle. And my thing is loose here, so I wanna pull this back. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm just gonna take my two fingers here, and I'm just gonna pull this back, and it's gonna create tension here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a little loose now. When I pull back, you can see it tighten up, which is where we want it. And once I've got it pulled back, I wanna go through and tighten these screws. So I'm gonna pull back here, Make sure I've got the tension needed. And go ahead and tighten these up again. This is gonna tighten up that rubber belt on the X axis of our printer. Now, I don't know if this is gonna solve the problem, but it's the first step because obviously it's needed because the belt's not, not catching the, the gear. Um, and I'm hoping that that's gonna solve the problem. So we'll take it one isolated incident at a time here. So, with that, 
is left. Last one here. And now you can see that my belt is now tight. I'm just going to add some lubricant to these gears before I turn it on and uh, hopefully that's going to solve my problem. So get this loaded up, put it back in, and we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see here. So I turned it back on. Of course, you can already see I've got another problem. My LED screen isn't working. So uh, not sure what's happening there. But we'll take a look here and watch what this does. It loads up. It sounds a lot smoother. It was nice and quiet. So if we can get it humming like this one over here, we're going to be in good shape. So we we'll wait for it to warm up. Obviously, I won't know when that is because now my screen's not working, but uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, well, so far so good. You can actually see the test strip is actually making it. It hasn't done that in a long time. And I think we're back in business. So I think just simply fixing that x-axis was the key. So very simple, easy fix. If you had the same problem, hopefully this helps. Now, I just need to figure out why my screen's not working. So I guess that'll be the next uh, tutorial to figure that out. All right, guys, there it is. X-axis problem for if your printer is printing off the base. And uh, we're back in business. 98 more prints to go. This is Coffee Chug. Have a great day, everybody.